What is up, guys? How's it going? Today, we are playing some more of the Batman with your host, Salt Green Bean, here, and this is the last episode of the first season. It's called City of Light, and the battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose, and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate effort to restore order. So, what I see here is, like, since it's the last episode, my family's all been corrupted, I've taken out Cobblepot, I think I only have two more enemies left, and that's the child, that's the child of Arkham, the Lady Arkham is what they call her, and then Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent, I don't know how much of an enemy he is to me, really, because he's only a, like, a governor, or no, not a governor, mayor, um, but we'll see. He has the ability to do many things, but we'll see what Batman can do, because I think there's, like, really no hope for Bruce at this point. Maybe he can redeem himself with his family at the end, I hopefully that's what happens, but... This episode, for some reason, is only like an hour and a half long. So there's still going to be three parts as usual per episode, but the episode parts are going to be shorter than usual. So you won't have to watch, like, um, you know, bigger parts as the first couple. But I think season two of this, because I do have season two of this Batman game, um, will be longer because I've seen a couple of the episodes. I haven't watched the episodes, but when I look at them, I see the hours and how long they take. And some of them are about two hours, which I do like. I like the longer episodes with more story to fit in. But anyways, guys, we're still on Season 1, Episode 5, City of Flight. Here we go. Previously on Batman. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. But the innocent people were a small price to pay. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Uh, no, you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. I really hope Alfred is not hurt. Because I did go for the bat tech at the end instead of Alfred because I thought it was more important to save in a sense. I know that sounds kind of mean, but I think Alfred will be okay if he locked himself in the bat cave or whatever. Yeah. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay then, let's make episode 5 a great episode, because hopefully it's uh, the best episode so far. Episode 4 was pretty good though. I liked episode 4. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this Two-Face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. But, hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon! Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me, you punks. Guess who? What's up, bitches? 
Oh, oh, you want some too? Oh, your friend wants some first. Here, catch him. Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dents lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Ugh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Oh, wow. Follow my lead. Alright, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Catch! Yeah. Got him good. Oh, my. Oh! Oh! <laughs> The commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. Damn. Commissioner just walked up to that fool and popped a cap in him. Pretty sure guns with silencers don't sound like that. Hey, good kill. Not so good. Come here, bud. Oh, you want some? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Disappear. Oh, shit. <laughs> Catch. Oh, yeah, you're next. You better believe it. More of you guys. Oh! Come on, man. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Wow, I just threw a whole freaking bench at him. Imagine that. Oh, he gone. God damn it. No. Not you two. He died a hero. Giving his life for Gotham. Hey, technically he kind of saved sorry, me. Lieutenant. This... This is not your fault. It's a bastard dense. Grogan's oh, yeah. a good man. A family man. Don't worry, I'll kick Dent's teeth in. He'll be alright. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all! Kelly, get out of there! Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide! Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Guess I'm going as Bruce Wayne. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Thank you, cave. that's smart. Shots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Yeah, because if I disarm him, it's going to be no good. He has other freaking security guards. So there's no point. Maybe reaching the old Harvey isn't really that valid, though. One year ago. Harvey and I want to save for Gotham. 
A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. Episode 5. City of Light. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. <laughs> Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! They got Sniper's real silent. Tool. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you at Arkham. Burn down your home. Please, Harvey. Let these people go. Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face. Listen to yourself. This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! Cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear Beg I. Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on Shep. You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm saving everyone. Let's go. What did I do? What... What did he make me do? Now, Bruce! No, 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 no! God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line! Harvey, no! This is not who you are! You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. Bruce, I need... I need the result! Drop the 
damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... I, I can't... If you insist. safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. What happened to him? Oh, okay, you get arrested. It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. You've done me and all of Gotham a favor. You did a lot of terrible things, Harvey. And now you have to face justice. You don't understand, Bruce. He doesn't care. There is no justice for him. Well, at least I saved two hostages, got him in jail, so he didn't kill himself. I'll take it. Okay. Not, not that... Mr. Wayne. Bad. I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm going to make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Hello. Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. But why? tea and the entire pantry I'm afraid didn't survive the fire this is from my own personal supply thanks Alfred we're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power well at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else the last one's Lady Arkham that's it Bruce these last few weeks I worry about the toll they've taken on you facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days D not just the physical toll those were men you once trusted and after finding out what you did about your father people must seem a great disappointment to you always letting you down not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, well, it wasn't by choice. And me. What do you mean, and you? Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. No. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I I mean without that I wouldn't be Batman, this. you know. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. Yeah, we need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, and finally log into Wayne Enterprises. 
and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Uh, okay, Your let's... administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? <laughs> Cobblepot Enterprise. <laughs> okay, Wayne let's check the surveillance. The surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? It's not. Unless. Hold on. Security. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Uh, records. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. <laughs> and my medical records. There are some well but colorful <laughs> diseases. Annoying, colorful. but not hard to fix. <laughs> uh, oh, that's better. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham. Is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? I don't know. We'll see. Let's, uh... A financial uh, report? Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Holy shit. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. What? I'm in fucking debt now. Like, what? Oswald was, <laughs> was trying to buy an what? island. What? Oh my god. What for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. Like it's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. All right then. Uh, Lady Arkham file. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Start from the top and go down to the bottom. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. That's what I was thinking. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. 
This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. That was easy as all hell. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Yeah? Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? Maybe she's just messing with me. Some kind of joke. She broke into your office and stole valuable property as a joke? She has an unusual sense of humor. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. And all that will be in the next episode, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed playing, guys. It's been Salt Green Bean with the first episode of Batman. And let me know what you think. Um, do you like it so far? Is it going to be a good episode? I think it's going to be a good episode. I think so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching one more time. And I will see you all in the next episode. Remember, guys, stay salty.